For what seemed like a split second in the early 80s, the SMU football team was one of the best in the country. In 1982, they would finish nationally second behind Penn State with 11 wins, no losses, and a tie. Soon thereafter, things would crash and burn in 1987 as SMU would become just the third school in NCAA history to this date to receive a death penalty. The SMU football program has only managed to win 10 games once since 1984, with that being in 2019. So today I'm giving myself just five seasons to bring SMU back to glory and hopefully winning the national championship. That won't be easy because we're starting as the 50th ranked school in the nation. We can only recruit players out of the state of Texas. Now, which coach would be silly enough to accept this offer and be on the hot seat if he doesn't want an Annie and just five seasons you guessed it the school's all-time leading rusher eric dickerson so off the rip taking a look at our current roster boys we are not in a good place we have 13 seniors on offense with a total of 30 with another 17 on defense we have a lot of holes we're going to have to fill and it's probably going to take us some time to get depth in a revolving door built around this program here in week eight we just had our most successful week of the season both on the field and in the recruiting room we signed one two three four five recruits in a single week we had a bunch of people coming in to visit we were able to answer questions at quarterback wide receiver tight end and we also got an athlete that's going to be able to play one of the other positions that we need and we were once down 2,000 points on Claude Livingston but we've stayed aggressive and we now have the lead over TCU Baylor Tulsa and Texas A&M we started off this season one and three but the boys have turned around a bunch on a four game winning streak we're going to jump into this game versus FAU in order to make ourselves bowl eligible We've had the ball a ton here in the first quarter, and we're going to cap off this drive with a touchdown by Trace Jiggers. Let's go. All right, third and two, boys. Looking to get off the field here. We got the blitz with Rodgers. And it's the right call. Oh, no. He str McCammon struggles off two defenders to score six. Wow. All right, third and eight, boys. We got a man open. Make the throw more to Kai. Yes, sir. It's going to be Dixon. Can he get in the end zone? He does. And we take the lead here with 258 in the second quarter. We got seven seconds left here in the, se in the first half. We're gonna try to put some points on the board before that we go to the second half. And we got belly wide open. Can he make this man miss? He does. Can he get it to the end zone? Bang! Let's go, boys. That is a huge touchdown heading into the locker room. You'll love to see it. We end up running away with this one in the second half. 48-10 is gonna be the final score. Mordecai actually played a great game, threw for 378 yards, five touchdowns with another 37 on the ground. All right, boys, so the regular season is in the books. We end the year with an eight-game winning streak, but we are going to miss out on the conference championship because we lost to Tulsa, and that's our one conference loss, so they got us on a tiebreaker. They will be taking on Tulane. So we get selected to play in the Ticket Smarter Birmingham Bowl, going up against 7-5 and five Texas A&M, an in-state rival, and they are one of the three teams that actually beat us this season. So we're forced to settle for three here, but at least we do put points on the board, so I'll take it. All right, we got a third and five here. Can our defense get a stop and get off the field? No play action. We're on that. Let's go, Reed. Big boy plays. Come on, man. Run them like a book, baby. All right, eight seconds left in the first quarter, boys. Be smart here because we do, we do want to come away with points. Corner try to get us, and we're going to deliver that dot to Dixon. Moochie Dixon with a 15-yard touchdown, baby. Two-score lead. All right, so offense was unable to get, get anything done on our own. Defense made a few stops, but field position was bad. We got a wide open Rasheed Rice. He's got a big time play. So even though this season is pretty good and we we're, it seems like we're building a lot, you got to remember we're losing 30 seniors at the end of the at the end of the season, bro, which is insane. And we're going to deliver that Dr. Dixon as he picks up the first down. So with all these guys leaving, we really got to see what a lot of these underclassmen are going to be able to do once they get their opportunity. We get into the end zone untouched. Let's go. All right, nine seconds left here, boys. Let's see what they give us. I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit our tight end there. We probably missed the receiver, but Mordecai is going to truck his way to the end zone. That's a big boy run. Let's go. Oh, and Texas A&M is actually going to fake the punt, and I think they're going to score off it. Oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. We were actually in punt man safe, and they still scored a touchdown out of it. Oh my god. When these teams take away our run game, bro, this is what I was saying why we have to have, you know what I mean, a pretty consistent pass game. We have to be able to combat that. And this time, Sigurds is going to get a nice run, 10 yard pickup first down. All right, let's see if we can trust the big guys up front here. We got the blocks, and we're going to walk into the end zone untouched. Baby, come on. So Mordecai continues to turn the ball over here, boys. And whenever we try to let the offense rock on our own, he throws a pick or we fumble. And we're just up three points here. And I feel like we're going to fumble the bag here in this ball game. And now Mordecai shook rattle and makes a horrible throw. Under two minutes officially here, boys. There's a blitz. 
We got our man that we wanted, and Redding is going to come down with the ball. First down, that is big. Come on, baby. All right, boys, so no timeouts left for Texas A&M, but I feel like we're going to be able to punch this one in to end this game all together, and we do just that. Chiggers with seven carries on his drive, 14 yards, and he caps it off with a touchdown. All right, boys, so we get the dub here, and we are going to have a winning record. We win 10 games and win our bowl game here in season number one, but again, the grind is just beginning because we will be losing 30 seniors after this season coach eric dickerson's first season went so well that they're offering him a contract extension already coming in going 10 and 3 out the gate did go 0 and 2 versus top 25 but he got a bowl win and he went 3 and 1 versus rivals take a look at players leaving here boys so Amon moses and isaiah smith are both looking to transfer persuasion chances are really low so we're just going to let them walk to tulane and navy and we're also going to be getting a player drafted in rashi rice 56 catches 752 yards six touchdowns this year projected to be drafted in the second round but we're losing our starting quarterback D tackle left guard uh cornerbacks left in right in safety punter cornerback wide receiver like we are losing a plethora of players and then pretty much guys they were all making noise day one take a look at draft results Rashi rice was actually drafted in the second round but we are here to win national championships and we don't get any transfer requests that is definitely a little disheartening when it comes to recruiting we have nine scholarships remaining and the two main guys i want to get are going to be marquise hampton and claude livingston 76 overall wide receiver number 10 in the nation and then we got marquise hampton three-star strong safety from from alaska he's actually gonna be our one allotted player outside the state of texas so claude livingston we've been going real hard after since the preseason and like i said we were about 2,000 points behind him at one point so we're gonna go all in 11k on him then when it comes to Marquise Hampton, we're going to put 4,000 on him. We do also still need this punter and Derek Moore. And then I also want to get this DN and Cole Murphy, but those are the least of our concern right now. So take a look at signing day, boys. We get Claude Livingston. We get Marquise Hampton. We actually do get Cole Murphy. We missed out on the punter. We get Steve Hines. And we also get Martin Cooper. We signed a top class in the conference. We get a five-star prospect. We stole a prospect. And we also have a top 25 class in the entire nation. We're sitting at number 21 in recruiting. Take a look at our signings. Claude Emerson was the one five-star we got. We got four four-stars in running back Thomas, wide receiver Goddard, wide receiver Bowers, and then our tight end Garcia. So our offense is definitely going to be moving and grooving. Still not even sure who's going to be our quarterback this season. So season two, we come in ranked number 25 in the nation. So our starting quarterback is going to be Preston Stone, who comes in this season at an 87 overall, 78 speed. Really, really surprising. In the backfield, we got Kamar Wheaton, the redshirt sophomore. Spelling him is going to be senior Belton Gardner. At the fullback position, we had to bring the walk on. At wide receiver, Teddy Knox, redshirt sophomore. Jordan Curley is back for his redshirt senior year. Moochie Dixon is back for his redshirt junior year. And our fourth best receiver is actually gonna be one of our tight ends, Nolan M. Harris. Fellow him at tight end is gonna be RJ Maryland. Left tackle, we got Marcus Bryant. Left guard, we got Ben Sparks. Center, we got Branson Hickman. Right guard, we got Justin Osborne. Right tackle, we got Thalen Robinson. Right in, we got Dylan Frazier. D tackle, we got Mike Yohan Sanjo and Ajeki. Jalen Samuels is also going to be a D tackle there. He's actually left in. He's going to be spelling. Left outside linebacker, true freshman Zach Madsen, 68 overall. Uh, now, we're actually going to go ahead and start Burns in his place there. 82 overall, 78 speed, but Madsen will still find the, himself on the field. The middle linebacker, Jaquandis Brown, is going to be getting some middle linebacker reps as well. And Roderick Roberson, one of our free safeties, is going to come in the box here and there. Right outside linebacker, we got Kiki Burns. At corner, we got two Jukos that we brought in this year, AJ Brown, as well as Adam Downing. At free safety, we got Brian Massey holding it down. Then at strong safety, we got Isaiah Noah Kobe. At kicker, we got Colin Rogers, and Colin Rogers is also going to be our punter. We couldn't get one assigned, so we had to bring in a walk on. So season two is off to another shaky start. We're one and two, getting ready to take on number three TCU. But every recruit that has yet to commit to our school is all visiting this week. We have 14 recruits coming in to visit us here in week number five, and we are looking to have a good showing whether we win or lose. We want to make sure we get at least a B plus to A rating on our visit. Defense is out here looking to set the tone early, come down here trying to make a stop, maybe even force a turnover, and we get beat the first play of the game by Williams. He might be gone. He breaks the tackle, and he gets a block. Downing jumps on his back like a spider monkey and finally brings him down. We're going to go ahead and press these guys. Oh, my goodness. And the press pays. Comes back to haunt us. Paul got destroyed off the line. All right, it's third, third and long. This is going to make things easy. We got a man open. It's Harris. He jukes inside. Shout out to Nolan M. Harris, the tight end who lines up at wide receiver. All right, we got a second to go here. Be smart. Take what they give you. 
Got one back in the end zone. It's going to be Teddy Knox, and we're on the board. All right, just shot the red zone here, boys. We got a chance to tie this ball game up if things go well. We'll do it ourselves. Bang, let's go. All right, third and five here. 26 seconds left, boys. Let's get off the field. All right, Tommy. Come on, baby. That's why we put you there, Burns. Wheels. Wheels, one five. Come on. Ah, 18 seconds. What can the offense do? We got a third and two here. Five seconds. I would love to just get in field goal range, bro. Take a shot deep, yellow, curly. Make the catch, one second left, out of bounds. Let's go. We're gonna use a timeout just for good measure. That's a die. All right, boys, we have a have a field goal off to the left hash. I low-key want to go for it, but I'm gonna take the points just because we need them. And I think we get the ball back to start the second half. All right, third and three, boys, here we go. Ah, uh, do we burn the fatty to the edge? We do. Oh, he touched our ankles, but that's a late hit, ref. Nonetheless, we got a two score lead out here. All right, boys, this is it. We cannot be frozen. Rodgers is up. It is good through the uprights. We did leave them an extra second, but I doubt they're able to score. And we get a big time upset win here at home versus the number three team in the nation. Playing the ESPN Classic, these boys absolutely outperformed anything I thought we would be able to do. Preston Stone gets player of the game, and might I add, he played amazing. Playing that game and scheduling all those visits for that game proved to be so useful. We signed all but two people on our board. Joey Hall gets a plus 1500 visit and everybody else is in the yellow because they signed their name on that dotted line. All right, boys, so another great regular season, eight and four, and we missed the conference championship for the second straight year, but we are back ranked in the top 25 at number 22. And we receive a bid to the New Mexico Bowl, taking on Missouri, who went six and six this year. We end up winning our bowl game 40 to 14, and Kamar Wheaton actually breaks his coach's school single season rusher record. The new record is now sitting at 1894. Eric Dickerson had it at 1617. See here, we're gonna go ahead and add the New Mexico Bowl to our trophy case. So with that win, we end the season at number 15 in the nation. We went 10 and three last year, nine and four this season. We're hovering around the same success. Now we are going to have to say goodbye to some guys that were some major playmakers here in season number two. Our right guard, Justin Osborne, is projected to be drafted in the fifth round. We say goodbye to Brian Massey, Nolan M. Harris, Marcus Bryant, Jordan Curley, Kiki Burns, our middle linebacker, Far Far. And our running back, Trey Thomas, who we just recruited last year, is actually looking to transfer to Texas State. And his persuasion chance is very low. We're just going to let him walk. Osborne was our lone drafted player. I believe that's three and two seasons from us and still no transfer request. Nobody's trying to be a part of what we're building here. When it comes to recruiting, we have two guys left on the list and Nathan Hamilton and Bo Weaver. Hamilton is our four star from Texas. We've been going hard after all season and Bo Weaver is going to be our one out of state player. So we do get Nathan Hamilton, but we lose out on Bo Weaver to West Virginia. We got the top class in our conference. So we got a top 10 class in the nation. Our class sits at number 10. We were number two most of the year. One five star, four four stars, 12 three stars, seven two stars. So we got 95 speed Daniel Mills. We're actually gonna move him to receiver, but look this, but look for him to get some reps at running back as well. And then we got Matt Mackey, who I'm thinking we're just gonna put at free safety. So season two starts more of the same. We get off to a slow start 0-2. But since boys, we have gone on a 10 game winning streak and that sits us at number eight in the nation. And for the first time in Eric Dickerson's coaching career, he will be playing for the American Conference Championship. All right, we got a second and 10. We're going to the air again. Nobody's open, but we do have we have our legs. We're going to utilize it. Going back across our body, and that is a stupid ass interception. Wow. All right, first and 10. Boom. Stone back to pass. Got a couple guys he wants to hit. Can we burn 19? We do. Don't fumble. He does. Wheaton is there to pick it up. Burning the linebacker. Pushed out of bounds just side of the 10 yard line. Just how we drew it up, baby. All right, second and 10. Looking for 13. He's open. We even got hit as we delivered that strike, but we're on the board. Let's go. A lot of man. He's got a step stone. Come on, Knox. Or just not even going for the ball. You know, I love it here. That's exactly how we drew it up. And he broke that tackle. Are you kidding me, bro? And he stiff armed the offensive lineman. All right, I trust in you, Mills. Get open, big dog. Dot, come on, Knox. All right, we go, third and five. I'm okay with setting them for three if we need to. Get into the end zone, Stone, come on, baby. Ain't no need. Starting off the second half with the ball, boys. So let's try to punch it in here. All right, we got a second and nine here. Go to the running back, keep it in bounds. Oh yeah, Mills. Running back, a receiver posing as a running back, baby, let's go. Got a first and 10 here. I want to try to hit Teddy Knox on the fly. 
Mills get behind the defense. Underthrow. No, it doesn't matter. Daniel Mills coming down with a hard fought catch. Let's go. So Daniel Mills is looking like he's going to be our Percy Harvin because I'm probably going to put him in a running back for all these years to come. All right, second and 10 here, boys. Got him. Got him. It's Mills, baby. It's Mills, baby. He's like that. But like I was saying, bro, it's, it's fun playing with these guys. We recruited, man. Just, you know, we we, we, we had a feeling that they were, they were going to work out for us and then to actually see them work out for us. Oh, my God. That's none of that worked out for us at all. all right, we're going to sit second and 20, second and 13. Quarterback keeps that to the edge. What are y'all doing running into each other, bro? That is insane. All right, boys, here we go. Second and goal. Please run a screen. No screen play action, though. Cutbacks. Nope. Quarterback has nowhere to go. Sack him. Sack him. Boom. Bits. All right, boys. Time to bring the pain. We blitzing again. Hold him to three, if anything. Cutbacks coming. There it is. I just didn't know where. I guessed the wrong side. All right. Got a first and 10, fourth quarter. We are actually down now. Who, who would have thought? That is not where the ball's supposed to go. Right, let's go third and let's go third and 10 here. Somebody get open. He's open. He's open. Bang. Let's go, Dixon. I love you, Moochie. All right, third and 10. Just don't turn the ball over here because we want to be able to tie up this ball game. Mills, he's eating today in this game. Eating. Let's put Maryland on the out route. Wide open. Wow, what an interception, bro. What an interception, bro. FAU goes three and out. Defense gets to stop, bro. But I can tell you that. I'm a little butthurt about, about not scoring on that last drive, dog. Insane, to be honest. Oh, he's open. He's got him beat. It's Teddy Knox. He makes the catch. He's down inside the 10. He breaks a couple tackles. Now down inside the two. All right, we got a third and goal here, boys. I can't see, so I don't want to force it. Oh, I got the running back out of the backfield. Let's go, Kamar Wheaton, baby. Way to be patient, because I was about to I was about to lose my mind and just go anywhere. All right, boys. I, I want to guess run, but I'm a I'm a I am, I am still uh you know jamming online. Oh Burns, you got killed. That's a linebacker on a receiver. What do you want? What do you expect, bro? All right, boys. Minute left. All we need is three. Just be smart with the football here. As we throw another dot to Dixon, he's gonna get out of bounds. 19 yard pickup. And still, our run game is fine. I really wish our run game actually proved to be worth a damn here. You know when we play, but is it the the, the running backs just don't play that well in the game, but we're, we're going to find ways to get Wheaton involved for sure. I would like to think that we're actually in field goal range. You just never know, honestly, at this point. But, you know, let's just, again, be smart with the football. Pressure's there. Get over his head. Oh, my God, we got so lucky. That could have easily been the ball game. Right here, we just don't want to, we don't want to be too cautionary, but we also don't want to be too, you know what I'm saying, too, too risky with our throw. 39, looking to pick this up. We got one. Bam. It's Moochie Dixon. Get out of bounds as the clock stop. It does. Let's go. We got enough time here, though. No need to panic. Flushed out with, with, with Stone. Can we get in there? We're going to have to get out of, Oh, we got a timeout. We got a timeout. Two seconds left. We're going to take our three. All right, boys. So FAU use all their timeouts and really made us think about it, bro. Let's go ahead and take our points and fight in OT with it. FAU wins the coin toss, so we got to score first. Again, just be smart with the football here, boys. Don't do anything extra. That's a big block. They can miss. Get out of bounds. Yes, sir. I'll take it. I think we got the man look we needed and finally not zone. And uh, if we do, I believe Mills is going to score. It is actually a zone. We're flushed out with stone. He's got to make some shake with his legs. And he does just that. We're in the end zone, baby. Let's get it. All right. Fourth and five, boys. This is it right here. Get the sack. Come here. Ball game. Coverage sack, baby. Let's go. They finally got to the QB, and we are going to be American Conference champions here. It was a hard-fought game, bro. We were even down 14 and nothing, but we found a way to get it done. Another ESPN Classic was played by our boys, man, and this is by far our best season to date. I wonder if we're going to make it to a BCS Bowl game, but nonetheless, man, this is a pretty damn successful season. So we are actually going to finish in top four of the Heisman voting this year, but we lose out to junior redshirt junior quarterback Taylor Green from Boise. We received 44 first place votes with Wheaton, though, and we actually receive a bid to the V Bro Fiesta Bowl. We will be taking on the 11 and one Miami Hurricanes. First and goal here, boys. Here we go. Let's catch a pick. They're going to the air. Oh my goodness, Rogers, you are terrible. And the worst part about it is, boys, I actually like to pass the ball already. He's got to step on my man's. Get it out there. Mills, the freshman Daniel Mills, continues to torch defenses. 
defense comes up with a stop well i have a stop we gave up we gave up three let's hit mills real quick make him make some plays in space let's go come on one five he's a burner all right 30 seconds left here oh we got him wide open down the sidelines who else besides mills again and guess what first down all right so mills actually lined up in the backfield here we're still going to let him get out and uh and work against linebackers yes sir our wide receiver doesn't make a block but we're down inside the five come on all right second and goal boom stone walks into the end zone untouched we got ourselves a lead baby let's go offense is looking really good safety's walk i mean corners walking down i want to try him cut it up Wheaton. that a boy <laughs> yes sir gotta be looking in the back but he is just so unexplosive bro all right boys this is where we gotta look to punch it in get in there stone my guy another one so 17 seconds left here boys we're trying to put a drive together to put points on the board before the before we go into the locker room for the first three half time oh my god mark K K kamar wheaton i could have been thinking of the man's name what a move oh my god that was nasty bro stopping this miami offense has proved to be uh impossible for our boys here early on man so here we are picking up with them with it uh you know in plus territory once again good tackle by madsen all right third and 14 boys just get off the just get off the field just lock in no oh, come on bro one-on-one -on -one with safety help i even backed y'all up up off of restrepo he still killed y'all play action he got him he's got a step make that catch teddy bang let's go and we br and we break shane buckle's record with that pass right there all right so we still can't stop miami from scoring so we're back on offense this has been one hell of a game what a move there by stone all right 25 seconds left here this that's what i wanted that's the matchup i wanted on mills that's the matchup i wanted on mills bang come on man we right back at your head top boy. come on dog stop leaving him one-on-one -on -one. i'm going over the top safety linebacker it don't matter if it's not your number one guy i'm going for it all right, we got a third and four here, boys. They are out of field goal range. Please, somebody make a stop. That's all I'm asking. Please, somebody make a stop. They're actually going to the air. He's open, too. I saw it. There's nothing I can do about it. It was too late, and they almost scored. All right, man, here we go. I'm just going to guess run left. I could be completely wrong, but uh, let's try to get a TFL here, bro. And it's right in match, and I'm there. I dove short. All right, boys, we got a first and 10 man in motion. Knox working on the outside. I'm going to give it to him if I can. They actually played that well. All right, so Mills working one-on-one. -on -one. Again, if they leave him, I'm, I'm going to him. They left him with a safety, and I got sacked. <laughs> All right, boys, we need to stop here. We are down four. A touchdown does us no favors. Hall beats Bears to the outside. It does not matter. He gets absolutely bitched and baptized, and finally, we push him out of bounds with Rodgers. All right, I'm really not even sure how to play this one, boys, but uh, hopefully we can get off the field. No way. Fourth down. Come on, dog. I was about to say, I bet that perfectly. Are they going for it? All right. They're going for it. Oh, shit. All right. I feel like the only answer is the guest run the middle, bro. If they throw it, they throw it. He lobbed it. I jumped it, but damn, it's a lot of time left, though. We got time. So we drove all the way down the field here, boys, and we are looking to punch it in, but we still got to find a way to stop these dudes on defense. We have yet to do that. As we hit Dixon, Moochie Dixon for six, baby. Let's go. Coach sends the offense back out here to try to punch it in, man, and I'm a fan. Boom, Stone keeps it. Makes some people miss. Get in there, baby! Preston Stone is a motherfucking dog! All right, boys, here we go. I'm gonna go zone, because man has not been cutting it on the third and longs. Hopefully this can actually get the job done. Hopefully we can actually get pressure on this man, and they are gonna utilize some of this clock. I'm not mad at the, at the effort, but if you were watching this bowl game on TV, let me tell you, you will be thoroughly thoroughly entertaining bro this is one of those bowl games that you know what i mean they'll talk about forever and ever and ever and ever it's like lsu versus texas a&m type 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 of deal holland give me that let's go baby finally finally we gotta stop man yes first turnover of the game by any team all right boys second and 15 got him moochie my dog uh, that's my dog <laughs> Uh, that's my dog this is where i think we punch it in we're only one for four on fourth down on third on third downs today we got the defense nice and spread out stone keeps it runs into a teammate are you kidding me bro no way no way i don't want to go to ot i don't want to go to ot we should have scored there that was not me trying not to score hand off the wait and let's go come on baby i didn't think i was gonna make the right read but we did oh i got nervous 
I was like, please hit it off, please hit it off, because I see my man conceal the edge. Cause ah, whatever I'm trying to say, damn it. <laughs> Three man deep. I don't know if this is worth anything, boys, but this last two seconds. I have lost via Hail Mary in this game before. And woo! It hit L, it hit nothing but the hands of black jerseys. And we get the dub, our first BCS bowl win, bro. Here in season three, I would like to think that we are way ahead of schedule. We play another ESPN classic. Coach Eric Dickerson is is breaking barriers with what we're doing here today. But our true freshman, Daniel Mills, is going to be really, really special. Preston Stone is player of the game. Seven total touchdowns, 495 through the air, 61 on the ground. And, bro, we should, we're should. we more than likely going to finish this season ranked top five in the nation. Uh, we've just gotten better and better every single season. So Preston Stone breaks a school record for passing touchdowns in a season. And we finished this season number three in the nation, 12 and two. We also did well enough to get our second contract extension. So we should be safe pretty much for the rest of our time here with this program. So we get a look at players leaving and Preston Stone is trying to strike while the iron is hot. He's declaring for the draft, a projected third rounder, not bad, but we are going to try to talk him into coming back to school. I want to guarantee a national championship, but I can't say that to be true, but I can't guarantee a conference championship mama said she'd kill me if i don't get my degree so i guess that means i'm back yes sir we need him he's going to be a 99 next year you can guarantee it we're going to be losing jahari rogers uh one of our best corners projected seventh rounder danny brown the true freshman is uh wanting to transfer to uh university of new mexico and i don't know if it's gonna be anything we could tell him to get him to stay so he's gone it is what it is now take a look at the players actually leaving the 91 to 89 we're losing moochie dixon who played extremely well 74 catches uh 1100 yards 10 tubs this year um we're losing our starting strong safety Branson higman our left guard we're losing uh Kobaris hall we're losing jaquan dis burns goffney aj brown and Adam Downing, both Juco guys we brought in. They played extremely well for two seasons that they were here. Um, they didn't leave anything out on the table. We're losing quite a few corners, but in the grand scheme of things, we're really not losing that many players. Draft results, another season, another player that will be going in the draft. We are three for three so far in the sim. And we finally get our first transfer request. Ryan Ball wants to come here to be a right guard. I feel like we should be getting other bigger name guys coming to want to be a part of what we're building here. When it comes to recruiting, man, we got Charles Cooley, who I'm really worried about. And then we got Derek Yancey, uh, Brandon Dukes, you know, one of our, he would be our out of state guy, but I feel like he might just sign our way anyway. But these two guys, you know what I mean? Our Texas guys, I'm gonna just split them right down the middle, 7,500 a piece. And then we're just gonna, uh, you know, hope and pray that these guys come to the squad. Charles Cooley is an athlete and I believe he's a DB or receiver. We were going after uh, an athlete that could have been a quarterback but, uh, to come in and, and take over the reins was Preston Stone was gone, but I think we missed out on him throughout, these, throughout the year. All right, guys, I was wrong. We actually did get that athlete, 89 speed, 90 excel, 82 throw power, 78 throw accuracy. He's also going to be a good DB as well, probably a good safety, but we're going to put him underneath center. All right, guys, and we got it done. We got Yancey and Cooley. Yes, sir. We did miss out on Brandon Dukes to Bama, but 63 overall full free safety, they could have him. Once again, the top class in the conference. We also have another top 25 class in the nation. We are sitting at number 15, a five star, four, four stars, eight, three stars, three, two stars. All right, here at position changes. Remember, David Pittman, I said he was going to be a quarterback. He could play receiver. He could play a little bit of running back. He could play some DB. I'm, I'm thinking about putting him at quarterback and then still playing him at DB for season number one just so he can get on the field a little bit. Does 74 overall free safety, 72 overall corner. You know what I mean? Uh, his awareness will go down a little bit. He won't be that good, but he'll still have the skills to do so. And it looks like we need a lot of help there at the cornerback position. I'm actually going to put Pittman at corner for year one. In a year two, we're gonna move. We're gonna move him back to quarterback because I feel like this is the quarterback I want for the future. But we definitely need DBs right now. And then when it comes to Charles Cooley, he could play wide receiver, but I think I want to have him at DB as well. So our four best corners are all true freshmen, bro. Ain't that crazy? So boys, the time is here, the end of another regular season. This time we are sitting undefeated 12 and 0, number three in the nation, and we're getting ready to take on nine and three Tulane in the conference championship. And as long as we win versus Tulane, we are guaranteeing ourselves a spot in the college football playoff. 
both Utah and Washington have to play each other in their conference championship game. Penn State has to play Wisconsin. So depending on how things go, we can jump all the way up to one, or we might just possibly just move up to two. And either way, for the most part, it looks like we're gonna play the two or three seed. We're gonna jump into this game late in the fourth quarter. SMU has a seven point lead over Tulane. It's been a pretty back and forth dog fight, bro. Neither team wants to let up. We did get one stop, and that's why we had the one score advantage, but we gotta get a stop. Our defense has been pretty solid all season long, boys, but you know what I'm saying? Right now, they, they're meeting their match versus Tulane. Holland is beat by Celestine, and he is off to the races, and they are an extra point away from tying this one up. No surprise about what's going on here, boys. We, we've been here before. We know what to expect. Stone flushed out of the pocket. I want to try to throw this dot on the run, and we get it to Livingston. He spins right into a tackle, but a big time completion. Let's go. Definitely want to make sure we get six on this drive. Out of his zone, not man. Can we get rid of it? Force it. Oh, I tried to throw that. We got sacked for five. Definitely no reason to take a sack there, but it's going to work out as Mills gets six. Let's go. Remember, guys. We're only be able to recruit people who are top five, who have a top five on our list. So we don't always have, a, we have, as you can see, we don't always get a bunch of five stars. I think the most we've gotten is like two. We usually get four stars. We get a bunch of three stars. So these are like really homegrown talent guys that we have on the field. But all of our corners are freshmen this season. In season four, my first recruiting class aren't even seniors yet, bro. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's, you just love seeing a lot of these guys like come out here and really become something. Throw it, tackle, that a baby. Way to get it stopped. We still haven't even had our own quarterback that wasn't on the roster, but Preston Stone, bro, he really ended up being like a savior to the squad as Kamar Wheaton picks up six. All right, boys, let's see if we can catch some napping here. With them thinking we're just gonna run the ball, but we actually go to the air. This could be so stupid. Knox, with the one hand grab, baby, let's go. All right, boys, they're gonna have about a minute left, but more than likely not enough time to really do anything, but we're still gonna play some defense. All right, we got a second and 10, and they're coming out in the full house. I mean, do what you gotta do, pimp. We taking that away. Cutback's coming. Come on, Wilson, catch the ball, yes, sir. The tip pick, take it to the crib. Ah, oh, we got caught, let's go. True freshman, Keith Wilson. For the second straight year, we have won the American Conference Championship, boys, and we have punched our ticket to the college football playoff. Coach Eric Dickerson is gonna walk away as the AP coach of the year here in season number four. All right, boys, so the college football playoff is set. Number one, Washington will be taking on number four, Penn State. And us at number two, we will be taking on number three, Georgia. All right, boys, so UGA wins the coin toss. We get the rock first. This is gonna be a fast team, probably a lot faster than us, but you know what I mean? I feel like we're up for the challenge for sure. And we got a man open, stop and pop. It's gonna be Daniels Jr. And we're across the 40, big time pickup. All right, boys, here we go. First and 10, we're going with a little play action and they're in there immediately and there's nothing we can do about it. So they're walking safeties down disrespectfully. Who are they gonna put on Mills? A, a linebacker, please, for the love of God. Got him. Got him, bang! You better stop disrespecting Daniel Mills. We're gonna take advantage of that every time. Weak ass defense. All right, so scoring was never what I was worried about. It's definitely stopping this UGA offense in uh, Brock Vandergrift. So let's see what it is we can actually do out here today, boys. They're gonna hand it off to Robinson. And on the third and four, they pick up the first. All right, come out here in a little bit of zone and see what we can make shake. I definitely wanna force a turnover. Something we haven't done that well. In this sim so far. Oh, Sack, come here. He he got off of both of those three of those tackles and another tackle. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we got a second and 11 here for Brock Vandergriff in his offense. I'm a guess run. And we are absolutely correct. Look at all those red jerseys around the ball. And he's still. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck? How does he get back to the line of scrimmage with that, bro? Computer running crazy out here, bro. That's insane. I'm gonna send some extra blitzers, though. Oh, they run a screen. We see with Madsen, one of our first recruits, man. Let's go. So UGA actually misses their field goal. That puts us in prime position to be great here. And Wheaton is going to pick up six. All right, both their impact players are on the side that we want to run this read option. We're going to run it anyway. Well, great blocks up front. Let's go. Way to hold on to it, Preston. All right, third and 13, man. Oh, look at this pressure, bro. Come on, Mills. Yes, sir. Continue to eat on these. All right, can we trust the big boys up front to get the job done? Follow the blocks, we in, and we in the end zone untouched. Yes, sir, two score lead. 
so we got uga facing a third and long here looking to get off the field definitely going to send the blitz hopefully it works to our favor they run a the screen yes sir it's a sack fumble let's go come on baby but like i was saying mills is like gonna be like our percy Harvin. you see him in the backfield you see him out wide he just does it all bro we got one open over the middle that's a dot allen once again first down so i thought we should go for it and coach agreed so it was already uh it was already written we got Wheaton in the backfield, though. You know you can't really trust him to pick up a first. And he puts the ball on the ground. I wish we would have picked it up. That would have been a hell of a way to pick up a first down. So that's a missed opportunity, man. UGA's putting a little drive together. Our defense continues to play well, though, man. But, you know, we, 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 we got to find a ways to com combat Wheaton. I'm thinking about benching him. I ain't going to hold you. All right, we got a second and 10 here, boys. Let's see if we can get out. Let's see if we can force another turnover. Let's go ahead and jam the receivers. They take a shot. Six, seven, Rice got beat. Couldn't get his hands up to make a play on the ball. That was just a perfect pass. Bro, what a pass, bro. Because again, like I said, Rice here is six, seven. So if it was even remotely underthrown, we could have made a play, but only where his guy could get it because of course we can't get that animation. Um, you know, perfect EA, but that was just a hell of a throw, bro. Damn. All right, here we go. 45 seconds left here. We're saving them timeouts. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Mills wide open once again. Bang! Let's go. So UGA was able to drive down the field here with less than, you know, like 30 seconds left, bro. We got to keep them out of the end zone somehow. But I know this game wants to hold me. And we get a sack. Let's go. They have no timeouts. Beautiful. Oh, wait. They had one timeout. And they knocked the kick through the uprights. All right. All right. We got a second and six here. I want to put it back on the ground. Hand it off to Wheaton. He actually runs well for once. All right, first, first and 10, boys. Here we go. Hit Mills in stride. Yes, sir. That's what we want to do. Jukes inside. He just creates such bigger plays from smaller plays. All right, here we go. Second and second goal. As long as we get points here, I'm cool, but I definitely want to get six. Bang, as we hit Allen. <laughs> as soon as I brought it up, you ask, you shall receive. All right, so UGA goes down to scores, and they are now up three. All right, first and 10 here, man. Like, we, we, like, we really got to play if we want to win these games. Teddy Knox. They, what, yo, I can't even get an animation to jump for the ball, bro. That's insane. They just made me run past the ball, my dude. All right, man, down three. We've been here before. We were just here last season in our bowl game versus Miami. So, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll get it together. Get the sack. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. Get the ball, bro. Get the ball. This man is Tim Tebow. All right, down 10 here, bro. I know UGA was going to be a tough, a tough, a tough game, but we we had, like, we we were where we wanted to be in this game, bro. Like, this catch by Daniels Jr., bro. I almost called him senior again. <laughs> like I was saying, we like, we should be up big in this game, bro. But I don't play these games fully. I do let the computer uh get some, get some, and, bro, like, they can't do anything, bro. Like, I'm having to play this whole entire game in order to be great. Allen, please get an animation. Of course not. That safety came from left field somewhere and caught a pick. All right, third and seven, boys. Get off of the field. Maybe even catch a pick. Pick six. We definitely need to find a way to score. I'll tell you that for sure. It's a lot of game left, though, so we do not have to panic. People are open. Knock that loose. He held on to that. We're like a 90 overall as well, so we're not a, a slouch team, bro. That's the screen, and I don't get an animation with the big man. Oh, they lucky I didn't get back on a linebacker, bro. I'm selling out for the run here on third, and, on third and two. Oh, gotta make a tackle corner. Oh my God. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. bro. We, we, we were in position to make a play. True freshman wet the bed, bro. Second to go. Holding number three here is still a real possibility, bro. And something we really want to happen. Talk. Number 45, watch this man run straight past him. So I don't think I don't think it's in the cards for us to win this ball game, bro. And it happens. You know, it like it, life sucks, but we're definitely gonna try. Stay up, Mills. There right, we go. We're gonna we're gonna keep grinding. We made some some piss poor uh decisions here today, but let's let's work through it. There right, we go. Our right, guys open. Let's go. Hey, come on, Knox. Yes, sir. Five minutes left, boys. It's not about scoring though. We know we can score. We gotta get a, a damn stop. We, we don't ever get stops, bro. That's that's that that's 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 just the bona fide truth. Cut it up. Let's go. Come on, Teddy. First down on the ball. Try to punch it in here. Get in there. We in. He's so ass. He's so ass, bro.
wait 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 chat i'm really not even sure what just happened here i tried to super sim right and something like when, when i went out the fourth down something happened we scored a touchdown and i i guess i mis misunderstood the score i super simmed again we just tied the ball game up hopefully my editor puts that in a video i really wasn't paying attention i was like oh whatever what the hell and bro we are wow okay there's no funny business going on though because i i did not he's going to show you on the video but what the hell just happened there bro i mean i like this i like to see the team i built actually do something great in the sim but that was like next level <laughs> 41 seconds left here, man. I mean, we can still get our hearts broken after the computer came back for me. I, I really don't even know what the hell happened still. Come back, second off. Can we actually tackle him? I'm so tired of my team staring at the quarterback and the, and the, and the running backs just run. Like, I don't lie. Like, it looks like they're playing for OT. There's no shame in my game if we end up winning a natty here as well. Anyway, that's obvious. I, that's at the end of the day, the, the goal of the video. I mean, and if the computer see this fit to win this game, but I, I, I can't I can't count on my eggs and hatch them before anything happens. And it looks like they just want to run run one more play. And bro, I'm telling you, it was the weirdest sim. I was like, hey, I was like, how do we score? Like whatever. And then we scored again. Like this shit was insane. Just tackle, just tackle. All right. We are going to extras, bro. But we are on defense first. We won the coin toss. Uh, things are still scary here. Uh, I'm still afraid, but we're going to try to make do with what we got. We hand the ball off to Robinson, and he's probably going to score first play. He's about to throw everybody off of him. All right, second, second and two. I'm, I'm guessing run. And he breaks the tackle, falls four. I mean, we've been here before. All right, watch out for the, uh, for the read option. It's actually a pass. Get the sack. Come on, baby, let's go. He didn't break the tackle. He didn't throw a D, a D in off him like it was nothing. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna uh, actually not rush the QB here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, spy to keep the QB. It's a run. I guess run. It does not matter, bro. <laughs> this game is so silly sometimes, bro. But I love it though, right? I guess. But um, first and ten. Here we go. We know what to do. Come on, Mills. Oh, he actually held on to that. Fully expected him to drop it. All right, third and ten. I mean, we gotta go for it regardless, right? Just a bad throw under pressure. All right, bet, bet, bet. Fourth and ten. This is they're pressing everywhere too. Got him. No way. No way. That's how I lose this game. No way. That's how I lose this game. Empty pocket. Nobody there. We throw the ball away, and we are going to lose in the semifinal here, bro. Wow, this game holding me down the stretch. Should we have even been in overtime? No, but to just straight up make me throw the ball past him is insane, bro. So we lose to the eventual national champions. Georgia beats UW in the natty, but Wheaton is now our school's leader in career rushing yards. He edges out his coach, Eric Dickerson. Preston Stone breaks his own record for passing yards in a season. He also breaks Ben Hicks record for passing yards in a career, and he breaks his own record for passing touchdowns in a season as well as breaking his passing touchdown record for passing touchdowns in a career. Knox breaks the school record for receiving touchdowns in a season. Even though we lost to Natty, bro, we got another contract extension. That is actually our first time losing a bowl game. So take a look at our record to this point, 44 and 10, 12 and three versus rivals, eight and five versus top 25, three and one in the bowl games. So take a look at players leaving, man. Joe Richard or Joe Richard, he's going to ULM. AJ Wilson is going to Louisiana Tech, that's tough. And then David Pittman, who, who actually played day one and who we wanted to be our quarterback next season is transferring to ULM as well. I mean, I was going to put him in a slot, but I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, he's good, but he, he doesn't want to come back. And we, I can't, I can't make him. Oh, wait, is he staying? No, he's leaving. He was going to be our quarterback of the future, bro. I should have just red shirt and only got the same thing out of it. That's tough, bro. But Preston Stone, instead of being going to the third round, is now projected to go, to go in the second round. I feel like he should be a first rounder, bro. I mean, take a look at his stats for his career. I mean, 53 touchdowns, eight picks. Like, he just got better than last year. Uh, three more yards per game, better completion percentage, more touchdowns. Same amount of picks, but he was good. Wheaton is projected to go in the third round. Jones, the fourth round. San Jonah Jackie is the fourth round. And Jalen Samuels is the seventh round. Uh, Cam Allen is leaving. Eric Rice, who got beaten that in the, in the, in the uh, semifinals, leaving. Daniels, Maryland, Abiara, 
Colin Rogers, our kicker, Teddy Knox. Like we are losing a lot of guys that were, were playmakers and we still have a big fat question mark at QB. So draft results, Stone second, we ended in the third and everybody pretty much went where they were projected. So another season, another year of guys getting drafted and we don't receive any transfer requests this season. Even though we just had a disappointing end to our season, we signed the number one class in the nation. We bring in three five stars, 13 four stars, three three stars, nothing below a three star for the first time in the sim. So for the first time in the sim, boys, we don't have any of the original players on our team. Everybody on the roster now are guys that I recruited. And our quarterback that's just been waiting patiently in the shadows is gonna be 94 overall, redshirt senior Kevin Jennings, 88 speed, 89 throw power, 87 throw accuracy. I believe he's gonna be able to jump in and just run this offense to perfection. At running back, I'm actually gonna bring Higdon up over Reed and Buchanan because I'm tired of running with 87 speed running backs. And now Mills won't be spelling in at running back anymore. He's actually on the outside. Uh, he's gonna be wide receiver number two, but I'm thinking about putting him a wide receiver number one. Livingston's 84 speed just ain't enough. And although Livingston is a good receiver, um, you know, I, I wish we had some more guys that we could put in the slots. And it looks like we do actually, we got Brett Wade, a redshirt sophomore. Y'all know what me, bro, speed kills, and that's typically who I wanna give earn on two on the outside when it comes to these guys actually making plays because the faster you are we already know in college football bro speed is what kills here in season number five boys we found ourselves right back where we left off last year we finally got some guys that win some individual awards and coach eric dickerson wins back-to-back -back coaches of the year so a player part of our first ever recruiting class marquise hampton is going to win the benerick hampton is also going to walk away with the thorpe except this time around we come in as the top dog and the only undefeated team left in the playoff we will be taking on number four minnesota while one loss stanford will be taking on conference foe oregon kevin jennings has stepped into this starting role quite beautifully 4100 yards passing so far this season 44 touchdowns and just six picks and daniel mills has been everything we thought he would be once he got a chance to be the number one guy 1500 receiving yards 50.6 yards a catch with 14 touchdowns and then of course our defense is led by our award winner marquise hampton 29 tackles this year, five for loss, 36 assisted, half a sack, six interceptions, seven pass deflections with two forced fumbles. For the first time ever, our defense is the best part of our team over the offense, and hopefully our guys are ready to come out here and put on the show. Tie ball game, we go up 14-7 in the second quarter. We are now up 27, looks like we mixed the extra point, we're up 20. Minnesota finally goes down and scores. It's a pretty back and forth game, but our offense is really holding our own without me. And I love to see that we are building a real contender. 41 to 27, we got the rock and we're trying to run out the score. We get the extra three and that is gonna be the end of the ball game as we are winners and heading to the natty. Kevin Jennings played amazing, 29 for 38, four touchdowns, no picks, 349 yards. On the ground, Higdon ran for 73 yards of touchdown. Jennings also added a touchdown there as well. And then Bowers led us and catches eight for 69, the touchdown. Daniel Mills, six for 109, the touchdown. Brett Wade, three for 29 and two touchdowns. He made the most of his catches. And then defensively, Stort led us in tackles with nine all solo. Marquise Hampton had five tackles all solo. Looks like he didn't have to make any plays on the ball, but shout out to our team for doing what they do. Stanford beats Oregon in OT, so that's who we will be playing in the Natty in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. We have a chance to finish the immaculate season. One more stop. Stanford stands on our way. Will the Pony Express get the job done? We tried to build a run-first team, bro, but the way college football is set up nowadays, it was just kind of impossible for us, bro. So, you know what I mean? This is what it is. Uh, we, we do run the ball well, uh, but passing is just what we do the best, and that was nearly picked off. All right, we got a third and four here. Jennings back to pass. He has a wide open Mills. Yes, sir. You know the vibes. He makes a man miss, and he's got wheels. I don't think he's going to be caught. What they used to say, man, he's got to get away from the cop speed, and we strike first here in the natty. Defense coming out here looking to force a three and out to start off this national championship game. That would be huge if we can get that done. I'll tell you that right now. They go to a little play action, and we're going to bat that down with Bennett. I usually go for the pick, but we want the three and out. No, sir. Cooley's going to have a chance to return this punt, baby. Let's go. Uh, get you outside. Oh my goodness, bro. Who do you know that returns kicks as good as me in NCAA, bro? You lucky I ran out of space. Come on, baby. All right, boys, we're gonna put Mills over the middle of the field. 
Hopefully he can get a step on his guy. He does just that, and he's not going to get it caught. This game might just be too easy. All right, third and two here, boys. Third and three, excuse me. Get to the outside hall. Fourth down, let's go. That's huge, baby. A fourth and inches, and I love it here, bro. Stanford is, is going for it. Let's get it. Stop the run. They go with the play action. The sack was there. This game is so stupid. All those people in the backfield and nobody touched the QB. Nobody's going to fall for a play action that bad. All right, Cooley, give us a good return here, baby. Oh, I should put Mills as the number one guy, but I like Cooley back there. I see pancakes up front. Who got the syrup? Who got the syrup, baby? Let's go, Cooley. See, Mills probably would have scored there. He's a little bit faster. Speed kills, bro. And every opportunity they give me to go up top, trust me, I'm going with it. And Mills, they better hope that they put that safety over there. But if not, oh, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. You know, the safety's occupied. That's six. Even while getting hit. Uh, bang! Let's go. Way to get both feet in. He's ready for the NFL, baby. The name of the game is win. And the way they hold me last season versus UGA, we're going to do everything it is we need to do to win a, bit of a ball game out here, bro. All right, we got the rock back, boys. I'm telling you, I'm going up top with it. He beat him off the line. That's too easy. He's not getting caught. Daniel Mills. Oh, he is getting caught. Ah! Get in the end zone. Big boy touchdowns. Ties the school record. Four tubs in the game, baby. So Jennings hits Mills for a, for the for his fifth touchdown of the game, and that's another school record. Let's see what this defense can do without us, baby. They are getting it done. I don't want to go too crazy and break too many records, bro, but we're definitely going to have some fun out here. Get it out there, Jennings. He's wide. He's wide. This is the greatest recruit I've ever recruited in the history of this ball game, bro. School record in receiving yards in the game. School record in touchdowns in the game. He's breaking it all. <laughs> Daniel Mills might be the greatest receiver of all time in college football. You know what I mean? Judge a pastor. I mean, look at this. It's just too damn easy. Pure domination. And Kevin Jennings breaks the school record for touchdowns in a ball game. Let's go. All right, boys. So the clock hits triple zeros here as we get the elusive Natty win, boys. Here in the fifth and final season, bro, we only have five seasons to get it done, and it looked like things weren't going to happen. But our recruiting class that from our first ever recruiting class, bro, proved to be one some of the best players you could ever ask for and even the recruiting classes in between because daniel mills is only like a true a true junior our quarterback though was a part of our first ever recruiting class and he is just he's him guys he he became him daniel mills 10 catches 377 yards seven tubs i don't think those records are ever going to be broken in the natty or a game and we and coach eric dickerson is finally going to lift that crystal ball for his alma mater you see it we are the champs this natty means a lot we're gonna go ahead and add that to the list all right boys we were able to run through the gauntlet knock it off minnesota 44 27 then beating the brakes off of stanford 63 28 a perfect 15 and 0. jennings in just one year as a starter breaks preston stone's record for passing yards in a season he's also going to break stone's record for passing touchdowns in a season Daniel Mills is now the school leader for receiving yards in the season. Daniel Mills also now has the most receiving touchdowns in the season. He's also got the most receiving touchdowns in a career. We went ahead and broke every single school passing record except for passing yards in the game, but that's because we didn't complete the game in the natty. We got a good amount of the receiving records all going to Mills. We didn't break any defensive records, and we also broke two of Eric Dickerson's rushing records. So when Coach Eric Dickerson took the job here, he promised to AD that he could win a natty within five seasons, and he absolutely delivered. 10 and 3, 9 and 4, 12 and 2, 13 and 1, 15 and 0, 59 and 10 in his total career here, 16 and 3 versus rivals, 10 and 5 versus top 25, and 5 and 1 in bowl games. This one was fun. It came down to the wire. And make sure you let me know down in the comment section below which team you want to see next.